Why? Because we have 10, the measurement of Because we have the measurement of 11. Because it's a right angle. Well, you can also tell because if C, if point C is a, a right angle, then there's three lines in there. There's three lines that they look too similar, so then you could just divide it by two. Is that one of the mathematical properties we can use to justify our answer? Because it looks like it? No. So think of something else that you can use to justify. She's working on measure number three because angle three, which is the watch right here, there's some measure, measure eight to angle four. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can figure this out. Yeah. I already know that angle for this angle, it's already, um, since it's a right angle and it's divided into three parts, then they're probably each one of them is 30 because 30 times 3 is 90. What are the different numbers look better than others? That's right. Is um because it looks like it, is that one of the mathematical properties we can use? No. You need to be a little more specific. Which which angle did you decide to measure? Three. Three, excellent. From three, which is the next one you're gonna figure out? Six. Anybody? How do you figure out six from three? Well, Brenda, can you read to me what you wrote on your paper? Could you repeat that please a little louder? All the angles in each triangle add up to 180. Uh-huh, and you know two angles of it, so you can figure out the third, right? Very good, thank you. Angle 6 is... Isn't it 30 degrees? Yeah, well, are we stuck? Which angle? Which angle did you decide to measure? Which angle did you decide to measure? Four. Okay, so if I know angle four, what is the next one I can figure out? I can definitely figure out three, right? Why? Mm, four and three are the same measurement. Why do you think so? Because they're what? Because they make a supplementary angle. Okay, they make supplement. They are supplementary. Yes, that is correct. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they have the same measure, does it? But they are supplementary. So if you measure four, you can figure out three. Good. So that's the first step. Three is inside the triangle, isn't it? You can figure out six because you know five is. If you look up on the board, is a right angle. Is a right angle because they're perpendicular, so that's a right angle. This one I know from four, then I can figure out. Six. Five is, is a right angle, and then angle three. If you find out angle four, it's a right, you already know the you already know the measurement, so then you just have to subtract 180 by 90 for angle five, and then the measurement of angle three, and then you find out angle six.